you've come for my help, I can't give you any. I understand. Do you? Just came for tea. <clears throat> Just, uh... Robert, I have very little influence these days. I'm not at the agency anymore. I can consult on a few things, that's it. Susan, I just need to know who this man is. How is he to you? That's why I'm here, trying to find out. Tell me what's going on, please. You had a nice funeral, in case you were wondering. Mm. <laughs> you know, when they told Susan you were dead, she couldn't comprehend it. She said, oh, no, not Robert. And not from something as trivial as a car bomb. That you're alive, it's a big relief. But it didn't come as a complete surprise to her. We used to talk about you over the years, you know, and she said, if anyone could have feared a way out, a way to walk away from it all for good, you know, like a real fresh start. It would have been you. East Coast hub of Vladimir Pushkin. Pushkin. Mm -hmm. He's similar to the other oligarchs who jumped in bed with the Russian mafia, only he funds everything. Gasoline, weapons, girls, you name it. He's built an intricate network on both U.S. coasts that are incredibly well insulated. His money and political ties make him untouchable. Your friend here is who Pushkin sends when he's got a problem. Teddy Ransom. Real name, Nikolai Ichenko. Skill set honed in Spetsnaz. He's formidable and smart. Ran away with the secret police for years. Went private when the union fell. Basically, he's a sociopath with a business card. Mm. Thank you, darling. You know these two? Uh, Boston PD, probably on Pushkin's payroll, I saw. Three years, Detective Remar and Detective Pedersen. Only now they're dead. We found them yesterday, in the trunk of their car in the precinct parking lot. Suffocated, testicles blown off and shoved down their throats. Classic Russian mob hit. Teddy's work. Third one, Detective Masters hasn't shown up for work in several days. Robert, I don't have to tell you what happens next. He won't stop until he kills you and anyone you care about. Sleep a wink, did you? Hey. Mm. Robert, that girl, Alina. Why? I couldn't tell you why. It didn't matter why what they did to her that mattered to me so much. One day, somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew. Man, you do something about it, because you can. Mm. Because it's who you are? Mm. Mm. Who you've always been? Sometimes we make the wrong choices to get to the right place. Mm. 
I know a part of you died when Vivian did. But not the part she loved the most. Go be him. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to say goodbye. Thank you.